This is the Conway KW210 12 volt car battery tester. Let's take it out of the box. And in the box we find the tester itself along with its battery clamps. Nice strong spring on that so that's good. Cord wrap which is very handy. There's a USB cable included. USB to mini USB and the port is on the bottom there and I'll touch upon that in a moment and also of course the user's manual right there. Now this battery tester will test standard flooded automotive batteries, absorbed glass mat or AGM batteries uh, both in the flat and spiral varieties and also can test a gel cell battery as well something that you might have um, as a battery backup for an alarm system or something along those lines. And the reason for the USB port on there is because this is updatable. If they release new software for it, it can be updated through the USB cable and the manual describes that and gives the website to go to. And this also not only can test the battery and tell you if it's good or bad, but it will also do a starter and alternator test. So let's go ahead and take this out to the car and see what it can do. All right, hookup is very, very easy. Red to positive, black to negative. This car has a little cover over the positive, so we'll take that off. We'll clamp on the negative over here. Clamp on the positive over here. And the tool lights up. Now it's very easy to operate. You have an escape, an enter, and an up and down button. Very easy like that. Menu, it says check, review, print, setup, and about. So let's go into check. We'll hit enter. The battery is in the vehicle. And we'll do the battery test. It says check surface charge, turn lights on. Take headlights on about 10 seconds, turn lights off. So let me do that and then I'll come back and we'll choose the rest. Now this is a regular flooded battery so we'll press enter and we're going to enter in, you, can ha you have all different parameters here that you can set, we're just going to enter in the CCA or cold cranking amps. So we'll go there and now we're going to run this up to 650. The way you find that is to look at your battery itself. If I pan down here and zoom in, you can see that there is a label on the battery and that shows 650 cold cranking amps. So that's what we're going to enter in. Now that we have that entered, we'll hit enter. Okay, it says charge is 100%. It puts out 658 cold cranking amps. And it says good battery at the bottom. It gives you some other information there. It says healthy, 41%, 12.25 uh, volts. That would probably be somewhat in the normal range for a vehicle that's been sitting for a while. Um, typically the battery voltage is going to be about 12 in that. Um, could be up upwards of 13. Uh, in this case, this battery is a number of years old, and I know that soon enough I'm going to need a replacement. So now we're going to go ahead and do the cranking test. So we'll go there, and it says start engine. It says time was 36.02 milliseconds, cranking normal, and it reads the voltage while cranking, which in this case was 10.25. So let's go ahead and go back again, and we'll go to the charging test. And it actually graphs it for you and shows you where you're at. 14.04 volts, 14 and change is perfectly fine. It says increase RPM to 2500 RPM and keep it for 5 seconds, press enter to continue.
Okay, so the charging is normal. It says it's 13.86 volts loaded. Unloaded is 13.97, and the ripple is 121 millivolts. Very good. You can also print by doing upload result, and under setup you can set the language to any of eight different options. The beep sound can be turned on or off. You can also do a device test, and if you go in there, you can do a screen test. And then as you press the buttons on the uh, keypad, the screen will change to different patterns to ensure that your screen has all of its pixels addressable. You can hit escape and go back and go to key test and then you can hit the up arrow, down arrow, enter and escape. Hit it twice and it gets out of there. So once again this was the Conway KW210 12 volt car battery tester. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find it available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.